In 1907, Pablo Picasso and Georges Braque began deconstructing their artwork, disregarding the classical conception of beauty. While Cubism, as the style became to be known, often baffled the public, it changed and influenced the art world forever. Picasso seemed to see the world differently than most artists. While the traditional painter would paint from one perspective, Picasso began attempting to portray an object from multiple perspectives on the same canvas. Too often, it's easy to lose sight of the big picture and focus on one aspect of an item. This is exactly what Cubism taught the world, that there are so many more aspects to life to just focus on one. Although Cubism was short-lived, its influence has lasted the test of time and spilled over into many different art forms. Cubist sculptors, architects, musicians, and writers have all utilized the multiple perspective approach in their works. A perfect example of literary cubism can be found in the 2007 book Rant by Chuck Palahniuk, which tells the story of a deceased man from the perspective of hundreds of people. Each individual experience shares a different perspective of the title character, allowing the reader to draw his own conclusion of the type of person the character was. Woody Allen even took a cubist approach to one of his films, Melinda and Melinda, by telling the same story as a comedy and as a tragedy. The film offers the viewer a poignant example that life is simply how you perceive it. This brings us to an interesting philosophical question. If an artist portrayed a specific interpretation of something and the viewer took away a different interpretation, is the viewer interpreting the artwork wrong? According to a post-structuralist, post the viewer's interpretation of the artwork is right. Whether the artist meant to portray the meaning or not, no interpretation is right or wrong. Interpretation is based on many different contextual factors. Like the book Rant, the reader can come to many different conclusions about the title character. The final conclusion depends on many different factors. Whether the reader sympathizes with certain perspectives of the story may lead him or her to one conclusion, while sympathizing with other perspectives will cause a different conclusion. Whether the reader shared similar moral values or similar life experience could cause a completely different conclusion than someone who shared opposing values and experiences. Timing also plays a huge factor in, one in one's perception. At the time Picasso was painting his Cubist artwork, people were baffled by the avant-garde style. Now, the average aficionado would be less baffled by Picasso's paintings. Due to this post-structuralist thought, many musicians choose to write ambiguous lyrics allowing the listener to come up with their own interpretations. One such musician is Isaac Brock of Modest Mouse, who chooses to never interpret his songs. Isaac Brock has explained that he doesn't interpret songs because his listeners probably have much deeper meanings to his songs than he does. I read one article in my entire life about the Pixies, Brock explained. I don't want to know what the effing songs are about. The one article I was talking about explained what Debaser was about, and it was from a movie. I didn't need to know that. I had my own idea, and it was effing great. What I thought the song was about was a lot more interesting than it actually was. Cubism and Journalism Journalism could benefit the Cubist approach of multiple perspectives. Twitter has allowed a Cubist approach to life. Like the major protests that happened in the streets of Cairo, journalists could draw their conclusion from many different perspectives posted on Twitter. A journalist could get the perspective of a protester in Tahrir Square, or a person from the military, or a person who can no longer sell goods in the square due to the protest. By utilizing all of these perspectives, a journalist could get a clearer picture of what is really happening on the ground. But what are the journalist's perspectives? Could it be right or wrong? Major media networks like MSNBC and Fox often draw very different viewpoints from the same set of facts. Many would love to say one station is wrong while the other is correct. According to post-structuralists, they are both correct. They are simply just adding their own perspective on the facts. Cubism, cubism was mar mocked when it was first unveiled, but little did the mockers know, cubism would play a very influential role in the way people would view the world.